Congratulations to Kristen and to Katja. This is such an exciting day uh, for LEAP and for our bigger community here in the Goleta area. I'm so excited for both of you. Katja, thank you so much for your contributions to the Goleta area um, through your work at UCSB and all of your community involvement. And Kristen, thank you so much for all of the work that you're doing to turn the South Coast into Techtopia and all the work that you're also doing to um, improve the small business climate here in the Goleta area. Especially want to thank you for your work to um, increasingly prioritize early childhood education as a business imperative. Thank you so much for all you do. Congratulations to both of our winners. Congratulations to the 2024 LEAP Award recipients, Katia Armistead and Kristen Miller, for their outstanding contributions to our community. On behalf of the Santa Barbara South Coast Chamber team, the staff is proud to congratulate our President and CEO, Kristen Miller, for this honor. Congratulations, Kristen! See you on the South Coast! Congratulations, Katia and Kristen, on behalf of all of us at American Riviera Bank. And Katia, let me start with you. We extend our deepest gratitude for the remarkable contributions you have made at UCSB, positively impacting the lives of the area students. It's been truly amazing. Thank you. And Kristen, it has been my honor to collaborate with you over the years and your awesome team at the Santa Barbara South Coast Chamber of Commerce your collective efforts have significantly strengthened our community from Goleta to Carpinteria. Hats off to both of you. You are two very amazing people and congratulations from the bottom of our hearts at American Riviera Bank. Cottage Health would like to congratulate Kristen Miller. We're grateful for the commitment that you've shown to Goleta and the South Coast for more than 20 years. And congratulations to Dr. Katya Armistead. Your advocacy for students and numerous local organizations has benefited many at UCSB and beyond. Thank you both for everything you do for our community. My name is George Lease, and it's my privilege to serve as the President and Chief Operating Officer of Montecito Bank & Trust. It's my honor to congratulate both Katya and Kristen for their outstanding commitment to the children and families of Santa Barbara. Kristen and Katya, you are both community builders at your core, and we thank you for dedicating time, energy, and resources to our community. Congratulations, you both are so deserving of the 2024 LEAP Awards. Welcome everyone to the 2024 LEAP Awards. My name is Ernesto Paredes and I will be your host this afternoon. What an incredible turnout. Now Lori tells me this is the biggest LEAP Awards yet. And since we're not in person, we encourage you to use the chat function on your screen to say hi to your friends, and let's make it feel like we're really together. We have staff in the chat that will answer any of, you, any of your questions both in English and in Spanish, which is great. This is an exciting occasion. This is our fifth LEAP Awards ceremony, which is remarkable. I mean, LEAP, the awards is now five years old. Unbelievable. I'd also like to acknowledge LEAP's board of directors, led by great friend, Chuck Flax. Thanks, Chuck. All your work and leadership is definitely paying off. And also thanks to our great LEAP sponsors. You'll see their logos and their words of support highlighted throughout the event. It's also great that I get to welcome this year's LEAP honorees, which is this afternoon, Kristen Miller and Katya Armistead. And you'll hear more from them a little later. Today, we're here to honor these two community leaders and support the work of LEAP. LEAP has been part of our community for over 50 years and has built a legacy of trust with the community. LEAP started out as the Isla Vista Youth Projects, but changed its name to LEAP last year and is now supporting families all over Santa Barbara County. Now, I've been a longtime admirer of LEAP and, so, and I'm so pleased to celebrate and support the impact LEAP has in our community. Now, our goal is to raise at least, at least, $30,000 today, and thanks to generosity of our sponsors, we've started off at $10,000 already, so that's a great start. And you can see our progress towards the goal on the thermometer at the top of the page. Now, we would love to see the thermometer, and I'm taking a quick peek at it now. 
and it's going in the right direction, so let's keep it going. You know, be sure and click the, and to the donate button as many times as you would like at any point, at any point of the program. And we will have staff in the chat that will be ready to support you if needed. All right, before we go any further, I would like to introduce LEAP's Executive Director, the Queen of Kindness, that's right, Lori Goodman. Lori. Ah, I thought it was the goddess of goodness. <laughs> thank you, Ernesto, and thank everyone for being with me in this virtual space. I want to start to recognize our LEAP staff who work so hard every day to care for our community's most vulnerable children and families. I know our family advocates and Children's Center staff are watching together right now. Hi guys. We have a few helpers here in the studio with me. Three volunteers on tech, Teal, Karis, and Eric. Thank you all so much for volunteering today. Our assistant executive director, Juan Pimentel, is working our Spanish language chat, and we are committed to making this event accessible in both English and Spanish. Finally, I want to acknowledge and honor Kara Shoemaker, our director of development and the producer of this terrific event. The LEAP Awards would not have been possible without Kara's superb work and attention to detail. I couldn't do my work without an amazing team, and I am eternally grateful to each one of you. Today, I want to focus on gratitude and count my blessings. There are so many. I am fortunate to go to work every day knowing that the place I work makes a real, tangible difference in people's lives. There are more than 100 children who come to our Children's Center every day to learn and play and eat and grow. There are hundreds of families who get help from our Family Resource Center when they need it. Whether it is bags of food at our healthy food pantry, a parenting class, or support in advocating for their children at school. I'm grateful to lead an organization that lives our values. We all live by our values of respect and joy. I am incredibly blessed to be part of an organization that is flexible and responsive and reliable. We are trusted. We do whatever it takes to support and advocate for our community, whether it is opening a diaper bank or convening a town hall. We put our mission first. This past year, we produced a short video about LEAP, and I'd like to share it with you. At LEAP, we work to mitigate the effects of poverty, racism, and trauma so that families can thrive. When families come to us, they know that they will be treated with respect. Their privacy and safety will always be protected. Over the past five years, we've delivered more than 45,000 services to our community. At our Children's Center, we provide a joyful and nurturing educational environment so the children can grow and thrive. When families need food, we provide it. We offer culturally sensitive classes in Spanish so parents have access to tools for success. At LEAP, we believe that every family deserves a bright future. Let's create a community where all families can flourish. Today is LEAP Day, and it's LEAP's Day. LEAP Days are unusual. They only come around once every four years. The last leap day was February 29th, 2020. Remember that? There is so much we could not have anticipated last leap day. And yet, so much we actually could predict. We couldn't have imagined that a pandemic would sweep the nation. 
but we could predict that LEAP, then IVYP, would find a way to provide health education for families. We couldn't have anticipated that children would be going to school over Zoom, but we could trust that LEAP would find a way to support those students with lap desks and with our teachers continuing their relationships. We couldn't have expected that a community member would ask if we could distribute diapers because access to diapers is essential for healthy babies. But we could count on LEAP to say yes and open the only diaper bank in Santa Barbara County. We couldn't have projected that we would face a crisis in the early childhood workforce. But we could be confident that LEAP would find a way to support our staff to grow in their careers by providing every employee with educational scholarships. There is so much that has happened and that will happen that we can't yet imagine. But we know that you and our families, our community, can count on LEAP to respond, to meet needs as they arise, and to take on leadership in creating a resilient and connected community. I don't know what the next four years has in store, but I do know that with your partnership, LEAP will be there to learn, to engage, to advocate, and to partner for a strong Santa Barbara County. Today, you will hear stories about our work and the people we touch. You will be inspired by our honorees, Kristen and Katja, and I hope the next 35 minutes inspires you as much as it will me. First, let's hear from Maria. Tengo trabajando en LEAP 17 años, voy para 18 años. Fue como en el 2005. En ese tiempo era mamá soltera de tres niños. Eso para mí era muy difícil. Tenía muy poco trabajo en ese tiempo. Cambió mi vida tanto para mí como para ellos porque yo ya sabía que yo los había dejado en un lugar seguro y que venían a explorar cosas buenas. Y yo me iba a ir feliz a mi trabajo. Y María, sí, yo tenía, era maestra de sus hijos. Ella venía como madre. Después llegó a nuestra agencia y aquí la tenemos. La tenemos muy contenta y orgullosa de ella. Si yo no hubiera encontrado este lugar, yo no puedo entender dónde estarían mis hijos. Pero sé que por este lugar, mis hijos ahorita son unos hijos de bien. Yo a este programa estoy bendecida con él. Para mí es mucha satisfacción, es mucho orgullo el poder ser testigo de mirar cada madre que a veces eran antes padres, ahora son personas empleadas de esta compañía como maestras. Eso es un orgullo para mí y pienso seguir muchos años más ser testigo de los niños que nosotros tuvimos a ver si vienen a trabajar también aquí. Trabajar con los niños es una hermosura. Yo llego a un salón de donde están los niños de dos años y medio. Esos niños quieren que yo esté sentada con ellos, que yo camine al nivel de ellos. Cada día me voy emocionante a mi casa con mi corazón feliz porque sé que hice un cambio en cada uno de los niños. Kindy Five. Perfecto. Muy bien. Wow, Lori. I'm so inspired by Maria's story. Now, do I understand that she was a parent and now she's a teacher? And she really has made some leaps. Get it? Leaps? <laughs> you made it? Sorry. That's true. Uh, one of the things that I've learned is that LEAP provides entree into the working world for so many people. There have been many UCSB students who've gotten their start mm -hmm. working at LEAP. Mm -hmm. And many, many young parents who brought their children to our children's center have gone on to a career in early childhood education. That explains why LEAP feels like such a family. Yes. Our Children's Center has been operating for 50 years, providing high quality, trauma-informed early education. We've cared for three generations in some families. Wow. There must be a lot of leaders in our community who have been part of LEAP when it was IVYP. Isla Vista Youth Projects. It's true, we have some very impressive alumni. 
Dr. Fandino, who is featured in our next film, is one of them. My biggest inspiration to become a doctor was my mom. My mom was a nurse. She started nursing school when I was young. She used to do odd jobs to get by. I got to learn CPR with her when she was trying to do her course. We didn't have insurance for most of our life growing up. It was very difficult to have health care at that time. And my mom being single and raising three kids and having to pay everything on her own was not easy. I clearly remember a time where my mom broke her elbow and we debated for at least an hour if we should call the ambulance, if we should go to the emergency room, which is actually another reason that I decided to pursue medicine. And I knew that when I was gonna work here, I wanted to work with kids and after school programs because those are the programs that actually helped get me here. I spoke to Dr. Robinson and I mentioned to her that I wanted to work with kids and see if there's any youth projects that I could get involved with. And she mentioned LEAP. I was pleasantly surprised that LEAP is actually a program that I benefited from as a kid. IV Youth Projects was one of the big reasons why I made it through my youth. I am grateful for LEAP because they supported my family during times that we absolutely needed it. And I'm grateful for them that they continue to do this and they continue to support the most vulnerable part of our community in Santa Barbara. It's pretty amazing to see LEAP's impact in our community. Yes, it's humbling to know that LEAP is part of so many people's stories. Every day our family advocates are supporting families just like Dr. Fandino's. I'm so proud of the work of our Family Resource Center. Now I can see that kind of help can really change the trajectory of a life. But LEAP just doesn't provide childcare and connect families to resources. I heard you have a very success, you had a very successful event, a bilingual town hall, which seems to be really unusual for a children's center and family resource center. Can you tell me about that? Sure. Well, part of our work is to amplify the voices of our community. We recently hosted a virtual town hall with State Senator Monique Limon and Assembly Member Greg Hart. We had almost 90 people show up to engage and learn in both English and Spanish. It was truly a bilingual event. And we believe it's important for our elected officials to hear directly from our families. They're the ones creating the policy and our families are the ones that are experiencing the effects of that policy. We had so many people who asked questions about childcare and housing and sharing their personal stories. I think it was a great learning opportunity for everybody. So you're helping children leap, you're helping the staff leap, and you're helping the Santa Barbara community leap as well. Now it's time for the time where you've been waiting for. Here's a chance to support the programs and services of LEAP. Now you can click on the green pledge button on the right side of your screen to make a donation. And be sure to check out using your pledge cart at the end of the event. And if you have any issues, feel free to chat us. Lori, tell us how we can support you. I, with pleasure. <laughs> well, you can tell from what you've heard that we are a nimble and responsive organization. In the past few years, we started a diaper bank, conducted vaccine clinics, provided financial literacy education, and supported career growth, all without stopping our regular activities of educating our youngest children, providing parenting classes, and urgently needed concrete support for families. And now, exciting news, we are leaping into Lompoc. We are working to provide an additional 48 spaces for infants, toddlers, and preschoolers. Right now, we're focused on getting that facility licensed, and it requires a big investment. We need fencing and sinks and safety windows, electricity, all kinds of stuff, including all of our educational supplies. So we'd really like to invite you, our community, to help us. May I just jump in for a second? There are some donations I'm paying attention to right now coming through. I want to thank 
Kerry Tobes, $500. Chuck Flex, thank you, Chuck, $500. $500 from Derek Rashford, thank you very much. And then we have Aline Resnick at $2,500, thank you very much. And we just received a $5,000 anonymous gift, which brings us our, to our total to just over $24,000. So we're inching our wow. way, but we're not done yet. Green button, green button, green button. Keep making your pledges, please. That's great. Now, can you tell us what $5,000 will do? Well, I, you know, I want to thank that donor for their $5,000 gift. It would be amazing to have a few more at that level because we're opening three new classrooms this year. It costs more than $5,000 to open a new classroom. But $5,000 will provide the books, educational toys, and materials that gets us started. So we've got the one $5,000 gift. I would love to see two more before we close out today. It's out there. Come on. It's out there. I know, you, I know your names. I'm, so, I'm watching you. When this is over, I'll be looking for you. Now, we've already raised, like I said, just over $24,000 for the new classrooms. So... Let me ask, what else? Can you give us an idea of what a gift of $1,000 will do? Sure. Well, you've heard me talk about our diaper bank. I don't yes. really stop talking <laughs> about that. And it was launched in 2021. And since then, we've distributed more than 180,000 diapers and wipes to families in need. So a donation of $1,000 goes a long way towards stocking our diaper bank for one month. Well, I can imagine. Now, you say it goes a long way. So you're saying that you could actually need more than $1,000 each month? Well, yeah. yeah. We're, we're a victim of our own success. $1,000 was the right number when we started. But last year, we spent more than $18,000 on diaper supplies. This year, we expect our diaper costs to be closer to 2000 per month. Wow. We know that we're addressing a deeply felt unmet need with our diaper bank. Well, I want to thank Randy Berg for your $200 donation. We are on the cusp right now of our first level of goal, which is, again, our minimum goal was $30,000. We're at 29560 So who is going to put us over... $30,000 so we can get to the sweet spot of our next goal. Lori, what else? Well, um, you know, we need cribs. Part of what we need to do to get our new Lompoc site licensed is have a crib for each infant. And we expect to have 12 infants in our new center. 12 infants, 16 toddlers, and 24 um, preschoolers. So we need 12 cribs. Cribs cost about $500 each. We already have several $500 donations, and it would be great to see a few more. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who has been donating. And then finally, Ernesto, you know, everything matters. Yes. Every gift. Absolutely. $5 gift. Absolutely. $5,000 gift. We use it to support our children and families. We always need classroom supplies. We always need books. We always need construction paper. So anything you give, $100, $1,000, $10,000. We'll take $10,000. We'll take it all. And we will, you can trust us to make good decisions with it to really serve the families in our Santa Barbara County. Santa Barbara County, you'd be rest assured you have, a, you have leadership right here. You have great leadership, not only at the staff level, with uh, Lori and her team, but on the board of directors, and they're going to take all of your donations as true investment in this community. So keep it up. I, I, I see the, the staff writing down, jotting down numbers. Okay, we just made our $30,000 goal Woo for now, and that is fantastic. But again, that's our first goal. And now the magic mark, the magic mark to really be able to give Lori an opportunity for her and her staff to truly make a huge impact in these classrooms is $40,000. We have time. Let's see if we can get to $40,000. So what else can we talk about in regards to the classrooms? Well, as I said before, we need, about, we need money for sand and paint and paper. But you know what? We are here to honor Kristen and Katja. I want to say to you, keep donating. If you want to see a leap at the end, 
that's when we do it. But um, for now, I think it's time to begin to present our um, our honoree. And before we do, let me just take a quick look look at the board right now. I see Carol Spungen. Oh, Carol, keep going. Spend five hundred dollars, Carol. Thank you so much. So we are on our way to forty thousand dollars right now. So thank you. Keep those keep those pledges coming. You know this has been great. The thermometer is moving up. You again, reminder: you could donate at any time, even after we are done. Keep donating. Uh, now remember, LEAP stands for Learn, Engage, Advocate, and Partner. And personally, I could not think of two more deserving people who uphold these values. Now it's my pleasure to present our first honoree, Kristen Miller, President and CEO of the South Coast Chamber of Commerce. Kristen and I have been good friends since we met 21 years ago, back when she was the newly installed president and CEO of the Goleta Valley Chamber of Commerce. Goleta today is a much better, well-rounded, and self-sufficient city because of her advocacy and determination. Her work set the stage for a wide range of crucial public-private partnerships that are continuously improving the lives of Goleta residents and its businesses. More recently, having been presented with a grand opportunity of a new Santa Barbara South Coast Chamber of Commerce, Kristen adroitly blended the Carpinteria Valley, Goleta, and Santa Barbara Chambers into a cohesive and effective organization with a first-rate team of employees and volunteers. In the middle of an extraordinary and bewildering public health crisis and a government force shutdown of the economy. Three years later, the Chamber's impact and influence have only grown, along with its membership and reach throughout the South Coast. As a two-time former board chairman of both chambers, I witnessed firsthand Kristen's tact, skills, level-headedness, and her relentless commitment to the Chamber's objectives and mission. It is inspiring. But that's the Kristen who is well-known in business, government, and nonprofit circles throughout Santa Barbara County and beyond. Among the reasons she is deserving of a LEAP Award is her tireless dedication to several initiatives that don't receive as much notoriety. I don't need to tell this audience how acute Santa Barbara County's housing crisis is, but Kristen has been a longtime advocate for creative ways to generate more workforce housing that is affordable and accessible for both employees and their employers. She's also been a leader on efforts to expand Central Coast child care initiatives to ensure that all community members can find affordable child care programs and that local providers can hire the staff they need. And Kristen worked day and night during the COVID-19 pandemic to reopen business, our economy, and our schools safely and efficiently and with a minimum of additional disruption. In addition to all of that, Kristen found the time to raise her family here and her two wonderful now college-age children are proof that even when chaos is all around her, she will not lose her focus on what matters most. Congratulations to my friend Kristen Miller for her 2024 LEAP Award. You deserve it. The heart of the work we do in the Chamber of Commerce is really all about community. We really believe that deep down, people are striving to do a better job, have a better relationship, improve our community for everyone at all levels. This is a community of passionate advocates. You see them everywhere. They're giving of their time, their money, their intellect, all pulling on the same cart to make the world a better place. We've been so pleased to cross paths, hold hands, stand side by side with LEAP. I think our connection with LEAP grew exponentially during the pandemic. This was a time when at the chamber, we were desperate to connect with our business members. And we saw LEAP connecting with their constituents and clients and members and friends. And we really did feel like the community was able to come together over this crisis that was affecting us all. One of the biggest issues we're working on and that connects us to LEAP is the issue of childcare. Everyone in the workforce and in the community is being affected by the lack of childcare options that we have in this beautiful, diverse, and wonderful community. So the chamber has taken as much of a lead role as we can in banging the drum about this being a true need in our local economy, working side by side with LEAP to improve conditions and celebrate the ones that, that are working 
So what better honor than to be connected with LEAP and recognized for the work that I'm really doing out of the love of my heart, somehow being connected to this great organization and the great work being done there. It's really quite an honor. Thank you, LEAP, for serving our community with such passion, such heart, and such fabulous good work for so many years. Kristen, it is my honor to present to you the 2024 LEAP Award. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Back to you, Lori. Congratulations again to Kristen Miller. Kristen, you are such an inspiring leader, and I am so honored to know you. Okay, now let's see how we're doing. So, Eric, you have the keys to the piggy bank. Let me see what we have. Up to 3165. We we're at 31,685, which is fantastic, and yet we're not there yet. So, let's see if we can make it to the $40,000 mark. That will be fantastic. Ernesto, I'm so inspired by our community. Thank you so much. And please keep donating as we hear about our next honoree. And it is my pleasure to present to our next, I'm going to present to you our next honoree, Katya Armistead, Assistant Vice Chancellor and Dean of Student Life at UCSB. What can I say about Katya Armistead? Well, for one, I'm pretty sure she's omnipotent. One minute she's doing her daily walk to Stearns Wharf, the next she's advocating for students at UCSB, then she's in a meeting off campus, and somehow after that, back downtown volunteering for a nonprofit, and then back at UCSB for student events. And quite honestly, I get exhausted just trying to keep up. But that is what's at the heart of Katya. She gives all of herself to her, our community, and then some. Born and raised in Pasadena, California, Katya spent a lot of time on a different campus, Caltech, where her mother worked in the theater arts department. You may not know, but due to that influence, Katya became quite the thespian herself in middle school and in high school. Katya is a gaucho and pretty sure she bleeds blue and gold. She lived in Santa Catalina and on DP, worked in arts and lectures, and met her future husband at the Delt Fraternity House that's on Pardal Road. She graduated from UCSB and then moved to New York City for a short time and then decided to move back to Santa Barbara where she started working in admissions. Over the years, she moved up the ranks, captured a bunch of higher education degrees, and now serves as the Assistant Vice Chancellor, Dean of Student Life at UCSB. I first met Katia eons ago when I was a freshman with a giant afro and a lot more energy. Although we didn't interact that much while I was a student, she was a constant figure that was always on campus, supporting and advocating for students. Unfortunately, it was the Isla Vista shooting strategy that brought Katia and I closer. She was a huge guiding factor in creating the Isla Vista Love and Remembrance Garden that honored six victims who lost their lives. She really made that into reality. To me, Katia is the chancellor. She's the mayor that bridges relationships on campus and off. She pours so much into students and sees potential in every single person. Katia, thank you for pouring so much into me and being that consistent, friendly, loving human that you are. You've influenced and inspired thousands of people, and I'm here today partially representing them to say thank you. My husband calls me the campus mom. <laughs> um, I work with students and advocate for students through their protests, their demonstrations, to their leadership. And I also have several departments that report up through me in the student life area. One of my biggest values is service. I grew up knowing how important service was and I knew that I thrived when I was involved with different service organizations. What I love about LEAP is the commitment to the community and bringing up our youth for them to be thriving and successful and their own leaders. And I, that's exactly what I do with young adults here at UCSB is I wanna provide a foundation that they can thrive, they can grow, they can develop. I love LEAP and the commitment they have to good, affordable, quality childcare. I really appreciate when the connection is made between our UCSB students and our local nonprofits, and LEAP is one of those. Having LEAP 
so tied into the university for me is a wonderful opportunity and experience for our students to learn more about what it's like to work in child care, what it's like to perhaps become a teacher, or at least have the experience that informs them as they move on to whatever profession they move on to, but have a full understanding of what child care and how to support students is like. As a person of color, first generation to college, growing up in a single parent, low income household, I so appreciate how people supported me. And I attribute getting to college, coming to UCSB because of mentors and teachers that told me that I could do this. Giving back is so important to me because I know what it feels like to have a hand. And that's what's so great about LEAP is it provides these amazing services for families so they can thrive, so these children can thrive, so they can have an opportunity. And that doesn't exist everywhere. And I always am looking for that. And that fills my cup, knowing that we're providing good, safe child care so parents can go do the work that they need to do. Children can learn, can develop, and thrive so that they can be who they're meant to be. I am so honored to receive the LEAP Award. It means a lot to me because I feel really good about representing the community in a really positive way and that I am being recognized for the work that I do within the community. I'm very humbled also, and I can't wait to continue giving back to the community. I hope that I inspire others to look into what they can do to make a difference in this really special community. And LEAP is a great start. Thank you, Leap, for supporting our families and our community. Katya, I can't think of anybody else who deserves this reward more than you. You give your all to this community, to these students, to me, to nonprofits, to everyone. And I'm just so grateful and congratulations for being the 2024 Leap Award recipient. You deserve it more than anyone. <laughs> Back to you, Lori. Congratulations, Katja. You are such a rock star. And what a pleasure to see Jordan, our 2023 LEAP honoree, present you with the 2024 LEAP Award. I am so grateful to work with you and be in community with you. Now let's get some love in that chat for our honorees. They are fantastic. Now, we've heard some wonderful, heart heartfelt stories today, and I'm honored to be part of the LEAP community, for sure. We have celebrated these wonderful awardees and the vital work of this agency that's in our community. Thank you, and congratulations to Katya and Kristen. Thanks, everyone, for attending this afternoon. We are really grateful to have your support. And now, we want you to hear directly from our parents, staff, and students. Lit le da la bienvenida a su hijo para aprender y crecer. Gracias. Mis hijos están aprendiendo sus números, a cómo estar conviviendo con todos los compañeros, a está aprendiendo muchas cosas, cómo levantar sus juguetes. Muchísimas cosas, es muy bonito y me agradan porque las maestras también Les ponen mucha atención. Thank you, Lip. <laughs> Lip me ayuda con la educación de mis hijos. He dejado a mi hijo desde dos meses de edad para yo trabajar. Mi hijo es muy inteligente gracias a este programa. Uh, me voy muy confiada al trabajo sabiendo que mi hijo está en buenas manos. Thank you, everyone, to support us. Thank you. El Centro Infantil Lip hace que mis hijos crezcan y se sientan seguros. We invite you to leap with us. Mi niña viene aquí y ella desde que entró aquí a la guardería ha aprendido muchas cosas. Ella casi no hablaba, entonces ahorita está hablando demasiado. Y aparte los otros programas que tienen como la distribución de comida y todo eso también es uh, muy importante para mi familia. Gracias. Come leap with us. We invite you to leap with us. <laughs> Me gusta esta escuela. Gracias. 
Okay, so Eric has opened up the vault so I can see who has been giving while we've been waiting. So Katya, you've donated 250000 Oh. You can donate two hundred fifty thousand. We will make good use of Norman Fassler Cats three hundred sixty dollars. Thank you so much. Well, we have Peggy Dodds at a hundred dollars. Uh, Alex Dorsey, hi Alex, uh, at two hundred fifty dollars. And Jordan, Jordan Killebrew, thanks Jordan, hundred dollars. And we have an anonymous donation of a thousand dollars. So thank you. Keep it going. Keep it up. Keep it up. So Ernesto, yes. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready to leap? I'm ready to leap. Are you? I'm What's our total? What's our totals? Oh, our total is. Hold on. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold wait, on. Changing we're having a go. last second update. Thirty-six thousand seven hundred. Forty-five. Forty-five. That is pretty darn good. So, ready? I'll be ready. We're One, leaving. two, three. Woo! Thank you all, and have a great evening.